G-Man here. Hold on. One, you want to see a hypocrite? Watch this. Dude, how are you still being oppressed by the white man? You'll be here every week. Dude, how are you being oppressed by the white man? How are you being oppressed by the white man? Smile for the camera. How are you being oppressed by the white man? You can record me all you want. I don't care, bro. I'm not camera shot like you. Fuck you! You're weak! You hid behind a woman for an hour! You hid behind a woman for an hour! You hid, you hid, you hid, you suck! You got 70 people to one white man and a woman! You can't deal with me! You can't deal with me! You can't deal with me, dude! Why don't you talk about your sins? Why don't you talk about your sins? Why don't you talk about your sins? Hey, you're an idolater! You are a whoremonger! You eat pork! You have broken all of the laws! And by the way, all of you owe Jesus is the word and apology. Hell is not a condition of the earth. Hell is not a condition of the earth. Hell is a place, and we're going to have that conversation in a minute. All right now, shall we? Because you don't even obey it. Love your neighbor the way you love yourself. You are a transgressor of the law. You need to actually practice it. You can do it if you're not going to do it yourself. They are? Okay, I'll tell you what. What does the Mosaic law say when you break the um, Sabbath? What are you supposed to do to them? Yeah, to you can put the death. So how many people did you put the death today? No, no, we're not gonna do that. Oh, of course you're not, because you're not obeying the law. Ko halayam Yahwa b'Hashem Yahushai b'Hashem Rokakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS who I learned from. Shalom to the whole for elect preaching this word in truth and sincerity. Free ribs, your sisters out there learning silence and stay in order, right? Um, you know, watching that video, I bet a lot of people, you know, cringe just watching this man because you know it's just vexing his hearing his voice, right? So, this man, G Man, was part of a coalition of Christians that tried to come against uh, the men of the Lord. Um, you know, eventually that 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 whole group broke apart um, because they came together with one consent is to try to go against the truth. But it's funny because all of them believed in a different type of doctrine. You know, you had G Man, you know, who was a Christian. Then you had um, uh, Vocab Malone, which was um, a Calvinist, and so on and so forth. That group ended up breaking apart. You know. It was basically a body uh, with different doctrines, sort of like Frankenstein, stitched together with one consent. And it didn't last long. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because we are not in the time to be in the spirit of debate and strife. This could very well be our last Passover. Right? And um, we are seeing a lot of people still in this uh, spirit. At this time um, shows the growth and the maturity of where uh, the understanding is but uh, as far as the scriptures go um, you know I mean this man was completely out of order first off he was um, building another man's foundation he's going there just to debate you know it's nothing wrong with teaching somebody who has questions but this man was specifically going from camp to camp Right, and then um, the camp IUIC started doing the same thing and showing up to uh, Christian uh, churches at the time of their, um, you know, their 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 gathering and trying to build in their uh, foundation, which then in turn made them come, made the Christians come and started debating Hebrews like camps. You know, this is why we shouldn't be debating. We are not at that time. Maybe like 15, 20 years ago, um, you know, you could see more of that. But this is not the time, man. Like, our, our goal should be right now is to be fishers. Right? We're fishing. We're not debating. You know? Because debating is, is a form of entertainment to some. You see, this is not the time to be in the house of murder. This is not a fun thing, man. Right? This man, G-Man, gets a kick out of going to different camps and starting uh, issues, man. Like, that's his goal, man. His goal, he likes this shit. You know, uh, somebody once called him uh, a virgin, which he didn't deny he was, I guess. Um, you know, I don't know if he's um, 
doing this for whatever to get followers or likes or women i don't know what it is but it's not in the spirit of yahoo ba shim yahoo shai all right that's what i know let's go to proverbs Twenty six and twenty one. As coals burn, so like as coals are to burning coals, right? Because we know that coal, when you put a hot coal on top of another coal, it just ignites it, and it just you know does like a chain reaction. If you ever had an incense, it has a charcoal. You burn it. Once you light that thing up, it just the fire just spreads right over the coal, almost like you're spilling water. It's really quick. And then, you know, you put it on top of another coal and it continues the chain reaction. Right? This is what type of spirit he's in. He wants to go there and stir things up and just 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 to uh, throw a wrench in the truth, which it's not gonna happen, right? From the top. As cold are to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious contentious man to kindle strife. Right? The Lord hates that, right? Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy's 2 and 24. <clears throat> I started 23. But the foolish and unlearned questions avoid. This is what we're supposed to do. This man, we should have been avoided. And you see... Um, uh, GMS definitely avoids this man, um, and he continues to poke and poke and poke and poke and cause a disturbance. Um, some camps entertain him uh, for whatever reason. Um, but really, if if we have people like this coming to your camp um, or any gathering that you may have, you must ignore these people, man. Avoid, 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 man. Focus on the goal. The goal is to... Um, you know, bring in, uh, bring in more people, man. Bring in more fruit. This is causing division. This is the opposite, right? So what you're supposed to do from the top, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes, right? This man purposely would uh, try to, um, you know. Go way out of his way. He'll even drive far away just to ask these questions, man. Just to throw wrenches on. And this is what this is this is what's going on right now, man. We got the government plotting on trying to silence us. And then we have Christians trying to demonize us. Right? And what are we supposed to do? Avoid. Avoid. Start from the top. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. Knowing that they do gender strifes, and the servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. Verse twenty-five: In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, right? Because really, this man is not fighting against, you know, the Lord. He's really fighting against himself. Because it, he can't fight against this truth, man. It is solidified from the foundation of the earth, man. So really, you're really attacking yourself. You're really doing harm on yourself if you come in the spirit, right? Because we are to instruct, right? And how can we instruct if we're debating and in strife and in malice? Right, it says, verse twenty-five: In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai paraventure will give them repentance to the acknowledgement, the to the acknowledging of the truth. Man, these are for repenting people. This man was not trying to uh, repent; he was trying to debate. Right. This man is a, a, pro, a byproduct of Christianity. He is a prisoner of Christianity. And he needs to be free. Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai 
uh, may have mercy, uh, if he will, um, that he may repent and, you know, leave that Christianity behind, man. He has a lot of uh, fire and he has a lot of um, drive, but in the wrong direction, right? Verse 26, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, right? And what is this? One of the snares of the devil is Christianity. A snare is a trap, man. This man is trapped. He is convinced in his mind. He is a prisoner to this doctrine, man. The word devil means deceiver, right? And, and, and the deceiver or deceit is a lie. Christianity is a lie. And this is what he's pushing. This is what he's, this is his, his, his weapon that he's trying to use. But it ain't going to work, right? All weapons formed against me shall not prosper, right? Because you can't, you can't come against, you know, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. As they say, man, your arm's too short to box with God, right, from the top. And they, and, 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 and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are take, taken captives by him at his will, right? Because really, Satan is controlling all of this, man. And, 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 and the devil, which is the white man Esau, right? Is the one, you know, pushing this, man, and allowing this, man. There's a lot of things going on in that Christian church, man, that he's not even speaking up, but he wants to come against the truth. For what? For telling the truth. It's vexing, man. It's, 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 it's sad that you all had to watch this man, but this I have to show you these things for the people coming in this who's, who's new, that we are not to debate. We are not in the debate spirit like other camps. Right, we are drive driven focus on what is the end goal, man. Is to get up on them chariots, man, or and to and to and to awaken the elect. That is the mission objective we're in right now. It ain't time for playing, man. Right, the 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 harvest is uh is 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 plentiful, man. But the but the laborers are few. We we you're actually hurting that object um that the mission objective, man. When you're actually trying to uh, debate, there's a lot, there's a lot, all that energy should be focused on other things, right? Let's go to Romans 11, 7. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election has obtained it, right? Because the men of the Lord are the one that's going to receive this truth. This man is done. He's He's been uh, ensnared and trapped in the devil's philosophy. He's drinking the wine of the devil, man. He is drunk, man. He is not all, all there, man. But the, 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 the hopeful elect, man, they're, gonna, they're going to uh, receive this, right? From the top. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded, right? This man was blinded purposely, you know, maybe for his destruction or, you know, for, for, for edification purposes. Maybe this man might repent. Who knows? But he has made himself uh, publicized to be a whole demon, right, for our learning, to show you what not to do, Right? Verse 8, according as it is written, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Right? So if you're in that spirit of debate, strife, and causing contention for whatever personal gains that you may think, or you're working, you're a worker of the devil's philosophy, and you're pushing Christianity, which is a hell of a drug, as they say, right? Because a drug makes you feel good and it's addicting right and it's hard to leave this man is drunk he is high off christianity right he has been given the spirit of slumber according according as it is written yahweh bahashim yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day it's a scary thing man right it's not to be played with, man, because not everybody's going to get this. Right? He says he 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 pushes that you can do whatever you want. You can eat pork. 
you know, in, in, you can do all, all manner of evil as long as you believe. That's what he that's what he teaches. Confusion. That's what he teaches. The devil's punch. Right. Go to Romans three. What advantage then has the Jew? Right. What advantage has an Israelite? Because he's going up against the Israelite, not knowing he's the Israelite himself. Right. The question is, what advantage then has the Jew? Right. The Israelite. It says, or what profit is there of circumcision, which is what? The law, statutes and commandments. Knowing that you're an Israelite, keeping the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. Right. Because he attacks it. We're all sinning. We break all the laws, but we are rehearsing the righteous acts here in the place of drawn waters, which is the place where we are held captive. Right. He said, what profit is there of circumcision? What profit does it have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments? Right? Verse 2. Much in every way. Right? Much in every way. Not some ways. Um, there's a couple good things here. No, it says much in every way. Why? Chiefly because that unto them. Who's them? The Israelite who keeps the law, statutes, and the commandments. Who know the truth. Who's pushing it the correct way. Right? It says... Because that unto them were committed the oracles of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Let's look at that word oracle. Because obviously this man's trying to this man's trying to teach something to the men of the Lord. While having pork in his while having pork in the system, man. Strong's G three thousand fifty one. Lagion. Lagion. Logion, right? It says a brief utterance, a divine oracle, doubtless because oracles were generally brief in the New Testament, the words or utterance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of the contents of the Mosaic Law. So basically the entire scriptures. Right? That's what that means. That's what that means. Right? Verse two, much in every way, chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Verse three, for, for what if some did not believe, right? This man does not believe. He's been, he knows what we teach and he goes against it. He goes, he, he just cannot handle it. He has to go against it, right? It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai without effect? God forbid, yeah, let Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai be true. But every man a liar, right? Because this man is teaching off of another nation's philosophy, man, which who are they to declare our statutes, man? They are not our people. These are not, th these oracles are not for them. As we read, right? For God, Yahweh by Shem Shai forbid, yeah, let, let God be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, right? He said a lot, of, a lot of phony things, and he's teaching a lot of things, man. He's going to have to uh, answer every idle word that he does, man. All right, so from the top, that, that thou mightest, mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So if this man does not repent from what he's doing, he is going to receive a judgment, right? Because he teaches um, that all nations can be saved, man. That everybody can be saved. And that is totally against scripture because Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai has a special judgment. He has a number for each nation in the scriptures that has to be fulfilled, right? So you are, you are basically calling uh the most high a liar i don't want to say his name and use the word liar in the same sentence um you know i don't want to because I, I i have all the uttermost respect for yahweh Shim Shai, right but that man is a liar verse four god forbid yeah let yahweh Shim Shai be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and thou mightest overcome when thou art judged.
go to first Timothy's four. It says here, now that the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, right? Because people like him causing strife and division, right? Because they were predestined to be taken out anyways. But you will cause, if if you are caught and you are uh, dead in these sins, when Yahweh Shai comes back, you would have to answer to that. Because what you have done, you have taken people out of where they needed to be in the truth. Right, if you offend the little ones, it should be better for you to hang yourself with a millstone and throw yourself into the river. For paraphrasing, right? That's worse, man. You better off killing yourself. It says here, now, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Right. This Christianity is a doctrine of the deceiver, which took Yahweh Shai and converted him into a into a, a, a homosexual image by Cesare Borgias. Right? If you look up Cesare Borgias, he was uh, the Pope's Pope Alexander's son. Look it up. They have a show on Netflix uh, called The Borgias, based off this character. This is who they made their messiah. And this is who G-Man is pushing, right? Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, right? What is a hypocrisy? It's it's going against what you're actually teaching because the scriptures teach one thing, you know, inclusive, exclusiveness. And, you know, he's teaching inclusiveness, right? That, that's a hypocrisy. Speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron, right? So when you sear something with a high iron, it's, it's, it's closed. You know, in ancient times, if there was a sword fight and somebody had gotten a uh, cut to a point where it needed stitches on the battlefield, you would close it up uh, with, a, with, a, with, with, with a blade in fire and burn that thing shut so no, nobody bleeds out. So nothing comes out, or, you know, or no bacteria or dirt could get in. Right, so if your conscience is sealed with a high iron, there is no new information that's going to come in. Why? Because you are predestined to be this way. Right? You're hard headed, as they say. You're knucklehead, and that's who G Man is. Go to Jude one. Start of verse one. So I can, not, not verse one. I'm going to start in. Let's see, what do I want to start at? Um, here it is four. For the certain, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of ordain of this condemnation, right? So this man is in his lot, right? He was doing this back in the back in the days causing strife and division and just, you know, accepting what the oppressor is saying. The man said, "Who? how is the white man oppressing you now? Is what he asked in the beginning of that video. How is the old... So first of all, in, in, the, laws, in the laws of... Um, in the Torah, <clears throat> it is unlawful for us to um, borrow money with usury, meaning if you borrow... Uh, if you let somebody borrow twenty dollars, you're not to allowed to ask for uh, twenty five back. That is unlawful, right? So how is the white man oppressing us by taxes? That's one way. Not only he taxes our food, our water, then he taxes our wages, and then when we uh, go to uh, collect those taxes back, we get taxes. We get taxed on taxes, my man. That is a oppressive, oppressive. That's an oppressive. Um, 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 a government system, man. That is oppressive. When you have to pay taxes on a home that you that you live in, that is oppression. Right? Our people were um, redlined, pushed to the outer skirts, to the poverty, the poorest places in America, ever since 
um, you know, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, all the way up until the 80s, was, um, there was segregation, you know, and we're still dealing with, uh, you know, the cops slaying us in the streets, right? Lamentation, Lamentations 4 is a great chapter to read. You know, how is the white man oppressing us, man? I mean, what kind of a question? Did, you could just tell the level of understanding this man has. Right? Verse 4 from the top. For there are certain men crept unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our Yahweh by Shem Shai into lasciviousness. Right? Look at that word, lasciviousness. Strong's G, 766. As Elgaya. As Elgaya. Right, it means unbridled, lust, excess, licentiousness, lasciviousness, wantonness. Right? What is wantonness? Wantonness, usually uncountable, plural wantonness, uncountable, the state of characteristic of being wanton, recklessness, especially as represented in lasciviousness or other excessive behavior, right? For there were, there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, right? It is spiritual fornication, man. It is uh, it is harlotry to let another nation into this wedding, right? Because we are bid to this wedding, right? And you're allowing other nations to be married to this, man. That is lasciviousness. And it's disgusting and it's appalling, right? It says, and denying the only Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. That's a scary thing, man. You know, when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, you better not be in that same spirit, Right? Jeremiah chapter 3 verse verse 18 and in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel and they shall come together out of the land of the north which is here man Babylon right the haven for Christianity which is going to be up in smoke and not be cohabited ever again right and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given them for an inheritance unto your fathers. Right? But I said, how shall I put thee among the children? Right? And give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the host of the nations. Right? And, and host means armies of the nations. So, we are going to inherit the other nations. They're not going to be cohabitating with us in rulership. There will be a hierarchy in which the other nations will be adhering to. And G-Man teaches otherwise, right? And, and I said, thou shalt call me my father, and thou shalt not turn away from me. Surely, as a wife treacherously departs from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me. O house of Israel, said Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Right? By going into these Christian churches and, and these doctrines, man, that's how we dealt treacherously with the Lord. Right? Verse 21. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way and they have forgotten Yahweh Ba Shim Shai their power. Twenty two Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, 
we come unto thee, for thou art Yahweh Shai, our power. Right? So he needs to repent for that. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.